Now there's panic at parliament as majority of legislators shun the precincts of parliament for fear of being arrested. This comes after the Criminal Investigations Directorate wrote to parliament inviting more legislators for interviews and statement recording of a conspiracy to defraud cooperative societies. In a letter addressed to the Speaker of Parliament dated 17th June 2024, CID indicates that they are currently conducting investigations into allegations of corruption, theft and conspiracy to defraud cooperatives in respect to war loss compensation funds by the government. The cooperatives that are linked to legislators include Buyaka Growers Cooperative Society and Bubwambu Growers Cooperative. The MPs that are now on the police wanted list include Michael Maranga Mawanda, the Member of Parliament for Igara East Constituency and Ignatius Wamukuye Mudumi of Elgon Constituency in Bulambuli District. The two and several others are required to appear without fail at the CID headquarters on Wednesday 19th June to aid in the investigations that NBS has seen and signed by the Deputy Director Investigations at CID, SCP Chelimo Biata, requires the legislators to present documents pertaining to their transactions with the above cooperatives. This comes after the police spokesperson Fred Ananga rubbished a list circulating on social media that more than 30 members of parliament had been summoned, asserting that it is impractical for police to summon such a large number of MPs. Uh, there is a, a correct uh, method of summoning honorable members of parliament and I think it will be easy for us to get uh, that proof when they are, they are summoned. But you can't summon 30 MPs in one go. You see, I think there is also much propaganda that also pertains to that investigation that is going on. The summoning of more MPs follows the arrest of three other legislators that include the Rwengo District Woman MP Sisi Namuju, Bunyole West MP Yusuf Mutembole, and Busiki County MP Paul Akamba, who were charged with corruption. The developments follow the president's revelation that the MPs were tampering with the budget for selfish gains. Now, events leading to the summoning of the legislators date way back to incidents as revealed by the former Trade Minister Harriet uh, Ntabazi while appearing before the Trade Committee of Parliament. Let's go back as back as December 2023. In December 2023, the former State Minister of Trade, Harriet Tintab, has told committee members that CID has had identified five files for investigations into cooperatives' compensation fraud. The then Mwinempaka Probe Committee report discovered that uh, payments amounting to 48.77 billion shillings was made in excess outside the allocated amount to various cooperatives. The report, which was adopted without debate, saw Speaker of Parliament Anita Neta Mong on the 13th of December 2023 order all members of Parliament implicated in the embezzlement of 164 billion shillings cooperatives compensation funds to report to police uh, before they are picked. Now, uh, the central motion against the four commissioners of parliament is registering slow progress amidst arrests of members of parliament and alleged pending summons. Central mover Theodore Sechkubo is urging members of parliament not to be scared about reports of pending arrest of uh, corruption allegations. This as he provided an update on the collection of signatures accusing some legislators of staying away from the motion through taking trips. Wind up as we had thought today, we are looking at tomorrow. Tomorrow, we hope, is when members of parliament shall be here as we convene for the plenary. So this table of record shall be active tomorrow. We hope the table to be active tomorrow. We are expecting members to come. So our issue is to inform the honorable members of parliament that there is much work to do. They thought that we would use rule 109. Mm. 109, it would mean that the motion would expire mm. in 14 days. Mm. But we used 110, mm -hmm. and 110 makes it alive. It is open until after we've gotten our signatures, ah. then we can file a notice to the speaker through the clerk, and then the 14 days can start counting. When everybody is throwing stones at parliament, it is now the turn of parliament to rise up to the challenge. Parliament must demonstrate that we, we are capable of self-reinvention and self-cleaning. The number of signatures shall be given in the general update. 
Let's talk rumour. Now, as the rumours swirl around the future of uh, the four parliament uh, commissioners, uh, we look at who could be the possible replacements within the national resistance movement and the national unity platform. Currently, the ruling NRM is said to be watching proceedings at parliament but also contemplating on some names uh, for uh, the national unity platform. They are already, um, they've already written to speak of parliament recording Matthias Mpuga. Now, in what could be a surprise uh, pick for the NRM, uh, we have uh, the name here on the screen, uh, David Kabanda, the Kasambia County Legislator. David Kabanda is a known crusader of uh, the Patriotic League of Uganda, who missed out on a ministerial position after most of his colleagues in PLU were appointed as uh, ministers. Uh, then, away from that, Kagoma North Member of Parliament is our next name. Alex Brandon Kintu, the current NRM caucus spokesperson, could be another choice uh, for the position of NRM commissioner. He has been consistent in defending the party on all platforms and a friendly figure to most of the MPs. Let's move out there. Some brave uh, name there. Rastafarian! Hi, Rasta. Well, John Musila uh, is uh, from uh, Buburo East, uh, could be yet another face on uh, the commission. Though he might be independent, he is NRM leaning very much so and uh, a vocal he is on issues related to protecting the institution of parliament. We also hear through the corridors, yes, through the corridors, some are saying, some are saying, nothing confirmed yet, but uh, Kayunga, woman member of parliament, Ida Nanta, and former minister, could as well be given a new role. While well, she has been quiet, probably she stands among the few NRM legislators in the central, but also holds high integrity through her relations with MPs. Might That might cause her some say as uh, it might be. Other names are uh, in the corridors as well. The name probably could be uh, tabled for vetting is the name of uh, Theodore Sechukuo from Remyaga, who is currently spearheading the censure motion of uh, the four commissioners implicated over the service award of uh, 500 million shillings each. We also hear uh, that Faith Nakut Napak, woman member of parliament, may also come into the picture. She is a treasurer of the NRM Parliamentary Caucus and has been at the forefront of defending government positions on the uh, floor of parliament, even when she is not a minister yet, is emphasis there. She is among the vocal Karamoja MPs that stood with uh, others during the Iron Sheet scandal. What is known, however, is that the National Inter Platform already disowned Matthias Mpuga, as you may well know, many stories have been done in that direction as their commissioner, Noop, 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 Noop has made a choice of Mitiana legislator and uh, the young man, uh, Zake, there. Away from that, let's go to the story to do with uh, 